Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. This time it's a new fragrance released this year. Chrome Aqua. Now, a lot of people have smelled chrome. I haven't. I'm sorry. So this is the first time I'm trying a Zaro Chrome Aqua or any flanker of uh, chrome. And I quite like the bottle. The color, turquoise, is one of my favorite colors. And this was a bit of a pleasant surprise, yeah? And as, as you might have guessed, you know, I have very little experience with this, but I think I understand the scent correctly. So I thought I'll do a review. Now, this was released in 2019, as I said. Um, the perfumer's name is, I believe, Jean-Christophe Hainault. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I haven't reviewed anything from him as yet. And this is the first time I'm smelling anything with um, Azaro Chrome DNA. Now, this one starts off smelling very refreshing, very refreshing aquatic fruity scent. The aquatic fruity bit has been overused, overdone, but this thing has this beautiful quality, which I really liked. And the first hour is my favorite because it's got this beautiful, strong lime green like scent. Although the notes breakdown suggests it's got grapefruit, I don't smell grapefruit. I smell green lime and it's very oily and it's quite strong and it's mixed with apple. So apple, aquatic uh, smell and this lime, green lime. Very nice. I really enjoy this opening. The opening is fabulous. The fragrance, when it starts to dry down, in about 15 20 minutes be begins to get a little bit spicy which i really liked because there's this um unexpected sage smell it's not sage sorry i always get these two confused it's basil but but it's unexpected i didn't expect it to be that spicy and it comes off a bit more and they've got this uh, note of uh, violet leaf which smells like slightly oily petroleum like smell but it's really faint but you will smell it as if you're swimming in the ocean and there's an oil slick close by. <laughs> so that's that's how it, well, I'm making it sound horrible. It's not horrible, it's really nice. That's how it starts off. In the first 15 minutes, the spiciness comes in. I really enjoy it. And then after about two hours, the full fun fades away because all this beautiful green lime that I really like and the spiciness of the fragrance, it's really spicy. It's got a bit of kick to it, that goes away. And what you're left with, more or less the same is that aquatic green apple smell which is quite generic sometimes i get a little hint of cypress i believe but mostly it's that aquatic sea like smell or aquatic smell with green apple a little hint of lime if you like and that's it so after two or three hours the fragrance loses most of its interesting aspects this the, the aspects that got me excited about you know, reviewing this fragrance. The first hour is just fun. It's really nice. I wish that thing lasted a long time. So that's the whole fragrance. So pros and cons. Number one pro, I really like what they've done. Never smelled anything from a Zara Chrome line. So I really liked what they've done. The opening is spectacular. I really enjoyed it. Number two pro is the composition has aspects which I have not recently experienced. For example, that basil and that uh, violet leaf along with the the oceanic vibe it really creates an environment the color you know just like i i don't know mediterranean sea would be this color i do not know that it it basically that color is justified the fragrance creates that effect of being deep ocean nice ocean like smell i really like those two um you know sides of the fragrance those two are good good aspects the downsides the performance first two or three hours this fragrance is game absolutely brilliant so much fun and then after three hours it just takes a real steep nosedive and becomes a very bare skeleton of the two aspects you know a clean it's as if you've you washed your hand with a nice hand wash and what remains on your skin is like that it's a very faint but long lasting aquatic apple smell all the nice bits just go away so that's the downside, number one downside, the performance. Number two, the fragrance is synthetic, but it's priced 
as if it's some sort of a complex fragrance. Okay, so I looked at the prices 100 ml available on eBay for 60 65 on Notino, it sold out. So the price point cannot justify the composition, it's just it's it's absolutely impossible to sell this for 65 you know so the value for money is low those are the two downsides the performance is a big downside age groups this will suit anybody who wants a gym scent because you know i imagine you'll be in a gym for about one or two hours maybe three so this will be a very nice gym scent it's refreshing high energy it's got spiciness to it which basically sometimes it smells as if there's black pepper in it it's literally that zesty and zingy. It's got a bit of bite to it. So imagine yourself sweating it out in the gym and using it in the gym. So it will be a very nice gym scent. And I imagine most of the people who go to the gym would be in the younger age group category. So 20 to 30 would be the ideal age group for this fragrance. Does it have compliment factor? If somebody smells you in the first two or three hours, I would be very surprised if you don't get a compliment because it really smells refreshing, vibrant, youthful, really nice. First two, three hours, you'll make the hit. The girl will definitely compliment you. After that, good luck. Um, season, summer. This, I think, will shine even more when it's really hot because of that spicy character to it. It also doesn't smell like a cheap fragrance initially. It smells like an expensive, not expensive, but decent, uh, you know, kind of a composition. It doesn't smell cheap. And Azaro, you know, Azaro is well known for creating nice fragrances. So yeah, overall, I think it's one of those fragrances which will be a hit or a miss. But I'm trying my best to tell you the aspects that I really liked and where I think this will be suitable. It's got everything, but very little of it. That's my uh, overall sort of uh, analysis, if you like. So marks out of 10, I'm going to give it a 5. Now, 5 means you can give this a pass. Reason, there are many fragrances which do the, the, these things at much cheaper price point. Now I'll show you one, Perialis Red. Now this fragrance costs about 19 pounds, 20 pounds, 100 ml. This thing is a monster. It smells wonderful. It's, it, this doesn't have the spiciness, it has this floral aspects. It's more like Aqua di Gio with added, added floral aspects. It smells amazing, it projects a lot, it's a powerhouse, it's summer staple really. So there's something that is not as lemony as this one, but there's something that does the job for 20 bucks, 100 ml. Why would you want to spend 65? So that's the thing. That's the reason I said five out of 10, you can give this a miss. You can test it out, see if it works for you. If it lasts on your skin, definitely go for it. For me, it didn't last. It did project for about an hour. And after that, boom. And after four hours, all the nice bits that I really liked, I've gone. So five out of 10, hope you enjoyed the review, fellas. Take care, bye-bye.